Hello friend, this is Mayank Sanghvi from vlemon.com and in this video I am going to show how to open SQL Server Management Studio. The prerequisite of this exercise is you have installed SQL Server with SQL Server Management Studio in your machine. Now first how to open SQL Server Management Studio in Windows XP, Windows 2003, Windows 7 and Windows 2008 server environment. So click on start button, all program under Microsoft SQL Server, select SQL Server Management Studio. Click to open and your SQL Server Management Studio is opening. In Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 environment, click on Windows, install apps and under the SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server group, click on SQL Server Management Studio. Third option, it is applicable for all Windows OS. Press Windows R to open run and type SSMS. Okay, my SQL Server Management Studio open. Now, I don't require this, so cancel, close and shut down. Okay, when you open SQL Server Management Studio, this is the first window, connect to server. In this, you have to provide your SQL Server connection information. The first is server type. You have four options, one is database engine, second is analysis services, third is reporting services and fourth is integration services. For this exercise, I am selecting database engine. If you want to know what is integration services, reporting services and analysis services, please refer my tutorial on integration services, reporting services and analysis services. For the timing, select database engine. Now, what is server name? If you don't know your server name and instance name, you have three options to know all the servers available in your network. This is the extra copy, so I am closing this. Now, you have three options. First is OSQL command. Open CMD command prompt and type O SQL space minus L enter. This command is used to list down all the available SQL Server instances in my network. So it takes some time. So here is the output. In my machine or in my network, I have two SQL Server instances installed. One is SQL Server 2012 with instance name Dev12 and another is SQL Server 2014 with instance name Dev14. My PC is your system name or host name. So I am going to connect my PC Dev14. Another option to list down all the server with instance name is SQL CMD command. Open CMD, type SQL CMD space minus L and enter. The output of this command is same like OSQL minus L. So just for comparison. O SQL minus L and SQL CMD minus L. Same result. Third option, you can click this. You can click this and browse for more. In this, you have to open this tree and 
this will show all the available instances of SQL Server. For this video, I am going to connect SQL Server 2014. The third is authentication. You can use two authentication. One is Windows authentication, SQL Server authentication. SQL Server provide two types of authentication. One is Windows authentication. It means current logged in user. If the current logged in user have access to connect SQL Server, he is able to connect with this option. If current login user have not sufficient right to access SQL Server, you can use SQL Server Authentication Mode. SQL Server Authentication Mode is only available if SQL Server Authentication Mode is enabled at SQL Server. For this demonstration, first I am going to connect SQL Server using Windows Authentication and then I am going to connect using SQL Server Authentication. So first select Windows Authentication. Click on Connect button to connect your SQL Server. So my SQL Server is connected, successfully connected with Windows Authentication. Now I am going to connect my database engine or SQL Server using SQL Server Authentication. In SQL Server Authentication, you have to provide two information. First is SQL Server username, SA, SA, and its password. You can save this information by checking this checkbox, remember password, and click on connect. So I am successfully connected my SQL Server with SQL Server authentication. Now next topic, how to open query editor. You can open a query editor by clicking on this button or go to file menu and select new database engine query. Keyboard shortcut is control and to open. Now I am going to execute a simple select command, select hello world. You can execute this query by pressing F5 from your keyboard or from menu click on query and select execute if your query is correct you can get the output in result window result window have two tabs one is result and another is message result tab shows the written row of your command and message shows important information such as if your query is going to return to row it will show result show the two rows and message show two rows are affected result tab is only appear when your query is returning something for example use command is used to change the database. So if you are going to execute this, your result tab is hidden. Why? Because this command is not returning any result or any rows. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. For other references on SQL Server, you can visit my blog or you can subscribe my YouTube channel. You can like my Google page, Facebook or tweet me on Twitter.
all this information is available in the description section of this video in my next video i am going to show how to create your first database in sql server managing sql server using sql server management studio for the time being thank you for watching and see you again